All right, so we are against the Talon. We're against the Talon. We're gonna get Doron Shield, obviously. Doron Shield is just too good to not get. If you want to play more aggressive in some matchups, it's okay to get other ones, but I like to play around Doron Shield. I like to be able to have that sustain natural, natural regen. Oh, we got it, right? I autoed that, right? No, we didn't get it. Fuck. How do we not get that, dude? Is this what high plat level 1s are like? High elo one uh, level ones, dude, right here. All right, so against the talent matchup, you want to take advantage of his rake being down. You don't want him to get his third hit off his passive, so you gotta be careful when you do go in. But it's easy to set up cues on him. He is melee, so it's easy to take advantage of him. Not gonna shove in the wave. You want the wave to push into you, first things first. Queuing talent level 1 is not worth it. He's going to try to rake the wave here to get more than 1 CS. Okay, get the bounce. You can see I barely took damage there because Doran's shield heals 20 health every time I get hit. Trade wasn't too bad. Actually, won out that trade pretty hard. It's because he was tanky minions. So let's see if I can get a level two. Okay, dodge the rake. Don't let him proc his third passive. That's fine. He used both his pots already. I could be a little patient here. Bounce. Don't want to go in because he has his pot running. So I'm gonna I'm gonna run my pot here. Throw out a more aggressive pot. Dodge the rake. Nice. Nice one, nice one. So if you saw he overextended, he overextended too far there, so once I hit level three I was able to jump on him. Ignited him, forced his flash, and then I shouldn't put onto him afterwards. Get the kill. We're gonna buy double longsword here with one potion. Let's look around the map. Fiora is. Are they gonna kill? Okay, so top lane doesn't need any assistance. Bot lane seems like they're having fun. Holy shit, are you kidding me? Can't believe that hit. But yeah, I don't know where the jungler is as of right now, so we gotta be careful. But I can out damage Talon pretty hard with these double long swords. Just make sure you dodge his rake. So his rake is what he maxes first. Unless he's trying to cheese me. Can't shove in the lane too hard here. Okay. Probably one shot these, yep. Okay, Wave's in a really good spot right now. You see how it's in front of my tower? That's where I want it to be. So if he goes up for a, a rake here, I could dodge it. At the same time, trade. You saw the minions were low, so I decided to take advantage of that. See what happens when the minions are at your tower? It's very easy to take advantage of them. Okay, let's go look into their jungler jungle and see what we can find. So there's no Zac here. Zac's gonna definitely want Wraith sooner or later. Okay, nothing's really here. I wanna take like I would take Wraith if I could, but Wraith do a lot of damage early. 
So I'm gonna back here. I'm gonna get double amp tome. Yeah, double amp tome is fine with me. Cause I'm looking to get a revolver once I hit six. Cause AP does. Oh shit. Didn't have to plant there. AP does more damage after 6, so that's when you want to get Revolver, but you want to get Double Longswords before 6, because that does more damage. Okay, not going to shove in the wave, not going to jump on the dagger here. I want Talon to have to walk up. He's going to... Okay, and he ignites me. I'm gonna hit six soon, so the moment I hit six, I can flash on him. And I'll probably E ulti. EQ ulti, probably. Scuttle. Nah. Braum and Zach were here, dude. But I was able to get the kill on Talon, that's all that really matters. An enemy has been slain. That's all that matters, it's all about sending a message at this point. Because if Talon dies, then he loses all these minions, it goes to them, so he's gonna be even... He's still gonna be very behind, and I still got the kill, and I still got the EXP for it, so it's all good. Alright, I feel like I don't really need another pot, so I'm gonna save it. Could probably get a control ward as well, but I decided not to. Bot lane does need help. So they're skirmishing, but I don't. Can't really go down. Top lane seems fine since we already got a kill, so I'm gonna focus around the bot side on top of that. Infernal Dragon is up, so I wanna pressure bot side as much as I can. So. Talon. Talon can't get any of the CS right now. He's way too scared to walk up. Since the wave's pushing towards me, I can deny everything. So I could just stand right here if I wanted to. Once that comes in, I could just jump out. To the so trying to deny him EXP, trying to deny him CS, trying to deny him everything that I could. I do have Ignite. I do have Ulti. He wants that cannon really badly, so I'm going to deny it. There you go. Don't know where Zack is, but I'm assuming he's maybe looking for... Oh, no, he's top. He's top. So I'm going to shove this in here. Where the wave comes. Hopefully Warwick can just go top. I'm just gonna keep denying MCS. He has to farm with his rake at this point. See, 54, they're 29. It's gonna get, the deficit is gonna get bigger and bigger as we go on with the game. So Zach is dead. He's gonna rake that probably. Yeah, I'm gonna dodge it. Controlling the lane pretty fucking hard here. Notice how I'm slow pushing to deny as much farm as possible. Yeah, I'm gonna just here and let's see the spot lane need my attention maybe I know Zach does not have passive he might be going top or he might be going down for the wraiths good hook Okay, now the wave's gonna push in towards me. Here. In the next wave. An enemy has been slain. Oh, no, no lane needs my attention. I'm, I'm fine, right? Why? Because I can. I actually didn't let my ulti run enough so I got fucked there I feel like Zach might come but what I'm trying to do here is I'm just trying to get a wave 
I'm just trying to get a free wave here. Talon also uses Flash. So because I pushed Talon out of lane, holy moly. I'm good. I did not see the Garen there. Holy shit. But yeah, because I pushed Talon out of lane, I was able to get a free wave. So my deficit right now is 33 CS above him. All he has is a Dirk. Talon actually got the Warwick. Feels bad. Talon getting kills. Can't have that. Okay, Talon has no magic. I think I'm gonna get. No, I'm actually just gonna get the uh, build here because I think the slow would help a lot. Oh, they got the Infernal Drake. Nice one. If Talon ever goes into my E-range, I'm going to jump on him. I think he knows that. Oh my god, I fucked up. Wow, I fucked up pretty bad there, but it's fine. Made up for it. I was like, I canceled my ulti with Cutlass. That was the problem. I don't know if I could stay. We got Zack here, but I'm willing to stay and just try to get the tower here. Okay. Tower super low. I'm gonna back here. Get the Gunblade. Woo! So that was actually pretty fucking scary on that talent. If I just ran, let my ulti run and then call this afterwards, that would have been fine. Okay, so they do have a lot of AD. So I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go Tavi's here. Talon has Axe Shrinker, so I'm gonna use this Tavi's to kind of match it. Notice that I'm almost 10, and Talon's level 7. He's probably gonna hit level 8 pretty soon. So I'm like super ahead of this guy. Don't know where their team is. I saw Braum around mid, so I gotta be careful. Braum should be going bottom. Yeah. If he decides to rake here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, now I'm gonna take the tower. Again, he got into my range. I have Gunblade, so it's super free for me. Oh, let me just take this. Okay. I'm not getting first blood tower here. I'm gonna keep pushing mid. He killed Braum. Zach was top with Garen, so no one's really pressuring this. Rather go mid here rather than try to get the two kills top. That would be strong regardless. Okay, I saw Talon. Super scared. Maybe I can keep taking this tower because Talon is just super low again. It's all about the towers, guys. Even if there's people dead, focusing tower is very, very strong. Very efficient. Okay, I'm gonna try to heal off. Just a little bit. I'm at a 46 CS, CS lead. So if, if you notice in this game, I kind of focused on myself rather than my team. I knew the potential of what I could do mid lane and I ended up taking two mid towers and that's huge for me. So I can get this and I'm gonna get a Honka guys. I'm also gonna get Sweeper.
Okay, so now I'm gonna help pressure bot side and top side whenever I can, but I like to leave top alone. Tristana just hella pushed up there. Not good, not good. But I'm level 11 to Talon's level 8, so I'm really fucking strong. If he wants to get the red, I'll help pressure. They don't want to fuck with me. They can't fuck with me, actually. Both mid towers are taken, so I'm gonna go bottom. You can still pressure mid, it's just that it's a lot harder to do because it's a base tower. So you want to be more careful with it. Since I'm really fucking strong... He's good, right? Since I'm really fucking strong, I'm gonna try to apply as much pressure as possible. I think, I think we can get a fight here, yeah. Let's go. Because if we kill these people here, then we get objective. Get the mid tower, probably. Now we'll get bot tower. Caitlyn is also overextended here, so we can try to get him, get her from the back. Okay, Thrum has no flash. Okay, notice how we're kind of doing things as a team now. It's a lot easier to do that as a team. If Blitzcrank can get a hook, then the siege would be fine, but it's not guaranteed. So we'd rather go for Infernal here. Let's see if I can make a pick here. Okay, if it's Garen, I can't. It's gotta be Kaylin. She's either gonna overextend for this farm or walk up and group mid, but I doubt she's gonna group mid. I think she's gonna overextend bottom. You see, you can make little kill opportunities happen like that, as long as you understand how people work. Because you know she wants that farm. So then, I just waited in the bush, sweeped it, and then I just went down, killed her. So I just get that little extra farm, little extra gold. Doesn't really lead to any objectives, but it's fine with me. Let's see. Against this team, I, want, I would go Zanya's. Then I would be super, I'd be like really annoying. So I'm just gonna go Zanya's here. I'm gonna go for the more optimal build rather than the more risky one. Risky one would be more damage. But I'm gonna go Zanya's here just to show you guys that like itemization is super important. Okay, nice. They're all dead, huh? So we can we can push here. It's just Caitlyn and Zach. If if Caitlyn shows herself, I could just flash on her, and then we can get three objectives from there. See, she's out of position. We have no minis here right now, so we gotta be careful. Yeah, we're gonna rotate top here. No minions, so we gotta be careful. Blitz is probably fucking dead. We'll Ripper Rooney, can we get this top tower? Half flash. Dodge the the Q. We have I can't tell. He's not passive, I can't tell. I'm just gonna back here. Alright, so we 
as you can tell, we took all their towers now. So now we can control their jungle and try to pressure them from there. If they decide to push in mid or whatever, that's fine. We just have to react and they shouldn't be able to take anything. I think we can just stay in their jungle, just pick, make picks, and that's all we really need to do. I don't think we need to go do anything crazy like Baron. Okay, I don't know what Baron's trying to do. I mean, we can try, we can, eh. I guess Baron's free, as long as they don't know. Yeah, Talon's bottom. We can just we can just rush it at this point because it's gonna be three v five. We just gotta make sure that uh, Zach doesn't just take it. I think it's pretty fast because of this. Just does a lot of damage. Got it for free. I'll probably kill this Caitlyn here. Okay. It's only three people, so we should we should just look to shove mid because Triss can push towers really fast. She has red and her skills where she can like do damage to towers allows us to pretty much just push in. Uh, we should need Fiora here, but I guess I'm strong enough to where it doesn't really matter. It'd be nice if Fiora didn't like split off like that, but we can. This means that we can rotate top afterwards. Don't do this. Don't do this. Just, just push top. Just push top. It's more free. All right, cool. Okay. We want to take this tower first. First thing that we want to do take this tower. Alright, nice. We took it, so now we can start getting aggressive. Okay, I'm looking to get the reset here and then jump on Caitlyn right after. Wow. I actually didn't get- she actually didn't get the kill fast enough, so that feels bad. All right, game's over. GG. Good game, good game. So if you saw there, it was pretty easy game. Pretty predictable. Uh, you can kind of tell what exactly was gonna happen within that game, especially with the Talon when he was laning. Very simple things to keep track of in lane, like if they go for CS, if they overextend too much,